Let's check it out. And we're live. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is November 14, 2022. And uh, we're back at it doing our math drop and tutoring sessions. And this is number 81 for the last, I guess, three years maybe uh all together maybe less maybe two years maybe four years i can't remember now we're doing a lot of math uh sessions we weren't numbering them so we've been at this uh doing live streaming on uh, on twitch that's where we're live streaming these sessions over here um for about four years now um this basically this is a foundation of uh why it is that i started making videos and live streaming and whatnot um, specifically making videos back in 2007 math instructional videos was uh, never planned on being in front of the camera and uh, had to be done right so this is the foundation of what my work is about uh, so <laughs> thank you very much what the bug the 07 is now following thanks for the follow salute salute and give me a siggy how are you doing so if you're uh, catching these math streams uh, just know that everything that i do is basically layered on mathematics in some form or another and if it's not as obvious as it uh, can be at some point we will make it obvious some of the stuff we already did uh for those of you who know that want to know what this work is about you can follow my work on patreon substack and subscribe star for those of you that are supporting we got people supporting us from multiple platforms but uh, patreon substack and twitch are the three main ones uh, where uh, it's mainly because of the support we're getting on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing uh, so um, everything done it is sort of a business model <laughs> may not be a corporate business model but it is a chicho business model maladras how are you doing chicho business model of uh, uh, what i had in mind when i started creating content back in 2005 writing blogs 2006 uh, there was no form of monetization other than advertising back then and i didn't partake in the advertising really um, but i knew at some point there would be a movement where content creators were lifted up and supported by the community it it was inevitable it was inevitable and one of the indications for me that this was the case was uh from robert anton wilson uh, but we can talk about uh, that event at a future date uh, for those of you that are here um, i hope you enjoy the work the math um, you can also follow the work on getter vk gap parlor minds and bitcloud i do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on those platforms eat a salad real uh, rn right now you're eating salad right now nice yummy i got my walnuts and raisins going on again slayer darth how are you doing i am disabled and was told as a kid i would never be good at math that's because they don't want you to be good at math they lie uh, years after learning uh, leaving secondary school I decided to teach myself math from scratch the stereotype is true it is all about confidence it is all about confidence support um, a, a good curriculum um, people that care and as Krishna Morton Krishna Morty would say it's about the love right it really that's all it is and any institution anybody out there that's listening uh, to this if you've been told by centralized power that you will never be good at math or math is not your forte and and you know good luck uh, you know you shouldn't take higher level math or whatever it is right if centralized power is telling you this they're lying <laughs> they're lying as give me a siggy says f the school system man you have to do uh you have to do uh to do you yeah exactly the best educator in your life is going to be you for sure find great teachers and stuff like this but experience is 
90 90 percent of wisdom okay experience is 90 percent of wisdom when you see those people that are only academics and have never experimented in some of the philosophies core philosophies that they study they're about 10 percent about 10 percent know what's going on the ones who are in the field doing work doing their own business uh working for someone else is fine uh doing research educating yourself that's the 90 90 percent that really gets shit done right slayer darth i have a geometry question if that's okay for sure lay it on us crack how are you doing good afternoon missed you yesterday crack i did a we did a current event stream but i had two comic book hauls <laughs> there weren't comic books but uh you'll have to wait for the video to be uploaded for you to see what they were <laughs> you're gonna laugh afternoon afternoon everyone says cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well uh slayer death with a question what math are you doing any math any questions that come up george from Plu, how are you, uh, peru how are you doing elder gods in the house elder gods in the house know how to uh, distinguish the triangular prism uh crack damn i'll check it out when it comes up for sure i'll break it up as well uh so let's uh, read the slayer death i gotta finish my intro but let's read slayer death the question we read it again how do i calculate the volume oh you can't give me the uh is that a link uh slayer death uh you can't post links in the chat the triple star if it is but i'm going to read your question um you'll have to send that to either cheryl or elder god or uh oh there it is you took the http out okay good 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 uh how do i calculate the volume i've been told that i should split the shape into a rectangular rectangle and triangular prism compute the volumes for each then add them together i yeah that would be pr uh, probably it but we'll take a look at it gang i'm gonna finish off this live stream uh intro pretty fast um for last streams we don't have any visuals we do today we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes google play and whatnot uh this full live stream is mathematics we'll keep politics and politics will be loaded on uh sensor tube on bitroot and rumble and on odyssey and we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded and uh you know participate in our little community and we do have a sub math uh section as well we have heavy topics light topics and a math uh area where you can share math information everything's you know as i said is layered on mathematics uh aside from that gang let's uh, do a little bit of mathematics doing 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 let me take these guys down i'm gonna see if i can open up here because all all we need is the image i can just come up with my own image doink doink let's see let's see where we're at oh yes i do remember i do remember i sh i should have prepped ah oh, i wish you sent me a little uh notice earlier uh in the morning i would have <laughs> had something here to do i totally forgot i was running around doing stuff uh but but we will we will do this gang just for now uh, you know i'm sort of uh, i'm eating healthy right now so i'm not participating in too many sweets um but th there is something that we have to do right now um uh, because it is it is it is happy birthday to you happy birthday to you <laughs> happy birthday dear cheryl <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> uh, it's from what I understand, what Elder God dropped on us uh, yesterday. It's Cheryl's birthday today. I hope I got it right. I, is it okay? Perfect. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Good, 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 good. Blushing. Awesome, awesome. You can tell I'm blushing as well. I'm, I'm a little hot here. <laughs> and there's the virtual cakes popping up <laughs> from you too <laughs> for sure cheryl happy birthday and all the best seriously fantastic fantastic and thank you for being here on your birthday 
damn what an honor what an honor like seriously same with elder god elder god was here for his birthday and we had a little cake it was i was munching on munchies cakes and uh elder god set us up uh nicely uh cheryl's quiet about this stuff she didn't let me know we had to hear hear it from a second third <laughs> another mod right uh but awesome cheryl awesome many 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 more okay healthy more of course healthy more of course really glad that i decided to oops where did we go what is what did i just click oops there we go hold on let me let me let me find this uh thing with Jiggy. Doink. let's see if this image will pop up uh not many great well, okay hold on oh it's not popping up the link don't like it let's do it that way with http no math intervention that just goes to it for some reason it's not popping it up for me uh, i'll put a ww in front of it nope i'll take the s out of it <laughs> confirm drag you're not a bot okay we'll do it sorry gang if i'm not catching the chat i just want to see if i can bring up this image um no it's not doing it for me it's not doing it for me but i i know the type of shape you're talking about um uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. uh who was it i asked that i forgot the name uh bah, 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 bah. slayer darth slayer darth uh so we'll just make a shape and you tell me if we're accurate or not base man how are you doing chicho good evening from uh, from the northeast winter is coming winter is here winter is here slayer darth my understanding is that the prism uh have flat faces identical edges and the same cross section along the entirety of its length yeah and that is the definition of prism right that is the definition of prism crap really glad to uh, to duck in for a bit i'll take a virtual slice of cake as well crack says <laughs> trying my best to cut down on sugar <laughs> yeah me too a little bit uh i gotta get back at the shape a little bit um slayer the geometry is one of those weird branches of math for me where i can look up most of it but then it it can also get pretty complicated replace dot with oh yeah i didn't replace dot with i didn't even see it. i just copied the whole thing i just did that uh to bypass it. oh okay 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 hey my man buddy good afternoon lark bark how are you doing let me try that again let's get the full picture thank you for oh there is a dot there i just looked at the front Doink. let's check it out bring on the oh still doesn't do it oh there's another dot there i forgot the dots dot dot come on okay try this again oh there it is sweetness excellence we see this image gang oh yeah i'm going to share the link in chat so everyone knows it uh, awesome we got a link we got an image here's the image Doink. i'll post that um and uh, you know what i'm gonna pin this as well because i'm gonna make sure we have the link in the description of the video when we upload it so let me just draw this gang um i'm gonna bring up the chat just in case i'm missing something you guys can correct me on on the stuff weird oops hey Come on. Don't do that. Weird sloping square. Weird sloping. But it's not a. Yeah, it's just a prism. It wasn't a. It, yeah, this one's. Uh, here, let me draw this to you and I'll give you a little lowdown before we do this, right? So the question is what was the question again? Let me pop up. Darth, Darth, Darth. Oh, I'm going to bring out a better pen. What color do we want? Do, 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 do. Darth, 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 Darth. Oh, I missed it, missed it, missed it. How do I calculate the volume? Been told that I should split the square into a rectangle. Uh, no, you don't need to do that. You can, uh, I'll show you how to calculate the volume without having to split everything up. But you can, yeah, sure. Triangular prism, compute the volume for each, then add them together. Yeah, basically. So basically the question here is, let's do let's do light blue, new pen. Let's see how this works. So the question is, uh, 
geometry related right and we have the following shape And then we'll draw the same thing in the back. And then we'll connect them up. <laughs> My 3D drawing sort of sucks. <laughs> let me bring up, let me take a look at it from what you guys see. Oh yeah, I got a little uh, mutated, mutated piece here. Let's correct it a little bit here. We'll correct it a little bit. I don't know if that's much better, but a little bit, I guess, right? None of my drawings are to scale, not to scale, not to scale here. We'll flatten this guy up too, or raise this guy up as well. Let's make it pretty, more pretty anyway. At least make those parallel, sort of, right? Uh, t -t 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 -t. Mr. Robodope, good afternoon, Chicho. Unfortunately, I have to run to the gym but looking forward to watching later have a nice day everyone you too as well and have a great workout uh, mr robodope uh work hard make sure you replenish and drink fluids and have a little bit of protein to build back your muscle asap right so here's the dimensions of this thing oh i keep on closing that thing here's the dimensions what do we got we got 1.3 meters 1.3 meters on the up of the height we got one meter here right? we got two meters here two meters here here and we got 0 0.5 meters here 0 0.5 meters here okay now the way it works is we don't need anything uh, we don't need any other information from that thing so i'm going to bring it down um give me a second diagram itself in the picture states that it isn't actually drawn so your your <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect either yeah yeah so not to scale right if that's 0. 0.5 then 1.5 would have been you know a little bit bigger than this or 1.3 would have been a little bit bigger than this and stuff right so take a look at this thing think about geometry in the following form start off with a point right so all shapes consider it and we're thinking like we live in a four-dimensional world right one of the dimensions being time but we live in a three-dimensional spatial dimensional world right so we have you know this way we got up and down and we got in and out right so those are the three dimensions that we have and this is a three-dimensional object so it's got three directions right but start off with a point let's say you have a point right a point in space has zero dimensions zero d right it's not one two three zero d it's before we get into the dimensions right so this is zero d okay and this is a point in space point in space zero d has no units either right and then you can take your point stretch it out in one direction and you have a line or a distance right line or a distance and this is in one direction hence it's one directional 1d right and then you can take your point start off the point right start a point draw a line go a certain distance and then take that line the distance and whoosh, zoom it up right you got this what you have here now is is two directions right remember this was one direction this is one direction and this is the other direction now we've got 2d right two directions and this is a surface or an area right surface or area it could be a map or whatever it is right so if you want to find the area of this thing you measure this distance and then you scan this up right it's just like a scanner it goes up that gives you the area 
And the way you do that is you multiply this times this. That's how you do it, right? You multiply the two directions together as long as they were 90 degrees. If it's not 90 degrees, then formula can vary a little bit. But you're still really just multiplying the two directions together. Go along this way and go whoop, zoom up. Then you get the area. Start off with the same point. Make a line. Take that line, turn it into a surface, right? Now you have an area of something, right? That's what this is, an area, right? And then what you can do, if you want to go in a third direction, whoop, let's say this thing now is a box, right? So you have one direction, you got two directions, that's our this guy and this guy, and then you got three directions right so if you got 3d that means you're multiplying three different directions together and visually the way it works is you start off with a point generate a line take this line whoop, scan up you got a surface take the surface whoop, scan in right go along this distance and you got a volume right that's a surface you got a volume you got a 3d shape or prism if you want to think about it right prism well prism can exist you can calculate the area of a prism or something but let's just call it volume okay let's just call it volume as now with three dimensions we can occupy any point in space uh, and now with three the three dimensions we can occupy any space we occupy the whole space if we want to think about it that way with the volume right so for this what you need to do is you don't necessarily need to because this is a prism and by the way these are any shape like this is called a prism where one surface appears on the other side where you can just scan it in and you generate a three-dimensional object right so for example you could have a triangular prism there's your triangle and then whoop, zoom it into the page and you get a prism right you can get a cylindrical prism create a square a circle right and then whoop, zoom that circle in and you get a cylinder right so this shape appears on the other shape just by tracking along this dimension right this shape appears on the other side as long as you track along here so over here right i call the triangular prism a uh, table Tobler roll, roll one, bar, yum, dark chocolate one is the best. Uh, first time chat, are we doing swift swath? Not sure if I'm gonna say that. <laughs> what you wrote, right? From free Julian Assange gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Sensor 2. And if you need those links, you can come to our chat anytime you want on Twitch and type in exclamation mark uh, free Assange right up here. And what I just said with the links will appear, right? Just a little sidetrack from doing a little mathematics because this is very, very important. Very, very important. Right now, this that we have here is a prism, right? Because this shape appears on the back side, right? Now, if for example, this distance was smaller than that distance, you couldn't consider it a prism, right? For example, if this was this distance here was let's say 0 0.75 then you couldn't consider this a prism because this length was longer than this length so you couldn't just scan in one side to get the other side right but they are the same they told us that by saying it was a prism okay so all we really need to do is find the area here right and multiply it by this which happens to be one and that'll give us our volume right so our 
issue right now is we're not really going to calculate two volumes and add them together we're going to calculate two different areas and add them together now there are formulas for shapes like this right that you can that you can do right calculate but because we have these distances we can actually we don't need a special formula uh, beyond a rectangle and a triangle because what we can do we can take this thing let's transpose this shape here right So we took this, right, the surface that we're looking for, the surface that appears on the back side, right, and we made a work area for us. And it's okay to do this. You don't have to cram everything on here, right? Do your work. Spread your work out if you need to, right? Don't spread out your train of thought, though. If you're working on a problem in mathematics, keep it orderly, okay? First time child, wall bottle, yes. Let's free him so we can try. <laughs> you're not very informed. You're not very informed. Put it right by your jail. Or, uh, you're not very informed. The, the you, I, what, what's your name? Wall bottle. You need to, you need to, you need to find some other sources of information. Now, I highly recommend you don't get involved with politics too much, really. Um, if you've been fooled by the propaganda i think you should stick with mathematics personally build up the critical thought process a little bit joe chicho wouldn't the formula for any shape be derived from splitting the shape into triangles and rectangles 100 percent, or circles and circles as well right um or spheres or whatever right so what we do is put down the links here so this is 1.3 that's that guy this is two that's that guy this is 0 0.5 now one thing that you notice i'm not putting in the units anymore because they're all the same units in the final answer you're going to include the units right so how we're we going to break this up it's the simplest way to break this up the way you you know the only way right now for this shape we can really break it up is to go start here and come along here oh my god this is my line is wiggly right trying to go slow on a whiteboard is difficult right chicho but isn't the formula for circle derived from splitting the circle into an infinite number yeah then then you need uh calculus we're trying to stay away from the calculus aspect of it <laughs> keep it simpler right so all we do we just say okay there's one more level one more uh formula we need which is a circle which is two more formulas the circumference of a circle and the area of a circle right two pi r and pi r squared right so we don't have to go into the calculus level okay. now what we got here is this is 0.5 so this has got to be 0 0.5 right easy peasy if that's 0 0.5 then we got this guy we know what this is right 0 point 1.3 minus 0 0.5 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 0.8 right so this part is 0 point here i'll put it on the other side so this part here is Oh, I got a little small eraser. Weep. This point here is, here, I'll take this out. Doink. This is 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Right? Okay, cool. And this we know is 2. Right? Easy peasy. So, area, uh, uh, rectangle. Area of, let's call this 1 area of one is length times width length times width which is length and width i guess two times 0 0.5 which is equal to one what is what are the units one meter okay what's an area of the second shape which is a triangle well area of a second shape is really area of a rectangle divided by two right because if you break this in half diagonally you get a triangle it's the same deal as this right same deal as that but we only want half of it so we can go this times this divided by two because you just want half of it so joe to go back to your question the area formula even the triangle comes from this right so this is going to be one half length 
times width, or they call it base times height. They change the letters around. So they go one half base times height. There is the base, there is the height. So it's going to be 2 times 0 0.8 divided by 2. 2 kills 2. So this area is 0 0.8 meters. Wink. And then this was 1. So this is 1, and this is 0 0.8. That's the total area of this Dubiki. So total area of this Dubiki is 1.8. This is 1.8. Right? That's the area of this duplicate. How do we figure out the volume of this thing? Well, we multiply 1.8 by 1. So 1.8 times 1 is equal to 1.8. The area was meters squared. Oh, I should put meters squared, meters squared, my bad. Right? So meters squared for the area, for the volume, because you're multiplying by another meter, is meters cubed. So the total volume of this thing would be 1.8 meters cubed. Okay. Uh, Slayers are thanks. I understand all this. Cool. I was just struggling to visualize how 1.3 minus creates a triangle. Ah, so we see here, right? That's how it creates the triangle. You eliminate this part from this, and you got yourself a triangle here. Right? And it's uh, look, gang. When it comes to geometry, it, it's it, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, with just just my experience from working with a lot of students over the last two plus decades, right, twenty five years or so, uh, there are some kids that might not be good in some of the other algebra, like just doing simple algebra or hard algebra doesn't make a difference, right? But they do phenomenal with geometry and then there are people who are really good with uh, algebra that have a hard time with geometry there are some people that have a hard time visualizing the stuff right they have a harder time just seeing how it looks that's why in my personal opinion any math test you write or any math test that's given to anyone when there's word problems they should also have a drawing of the word problem right because English is not everyone's forte. If you're going to test them for their math abilities, you shouldn't be testing them for their ability to translate from English to math, to the language of mathematics. If, if, if it is, then you should specify that is one of the requirements for the exam, for the course, right? Joe Chicho, so squares are the fundamental shape in geometry. That's why area is measured in squares. I, I guess so. Yeah, square square units. Yeah, meters squared. You call them. I guess. I've never really looked into where meters square, like the square, comes from, and and if that's really related to a square, it must be, right? It has to be, right? Um, but I don't want to make that assumption. And uh, yeah, I believe so, right? Um, if you go, you know, is there? I I would say circle is a fundamental shape as well, really. Um, but the problem with circle is, uh, or the reason I would say it's a fundamental shape is because uh, that way you don't need calculus uh, to get to the circle, right? Slayer, uh, Slayer Darth. Uh, I'm good with all other branches of math except certain aspects of geometry. Yeah, so you're one of those people, <laughs> Slayer Darth. You're one of those people that's not good with the shapes, right? Here's my recommendation. Here's my recommendation play Tetris really old school Tetris or 3d Tetris uh, 3d Tetris was interesting as well n64 but old school Tetris preferably the best Tetris I ever played was the again n64 the new Tetris was absolutely phenomenal one of the greatest games ever created I actually knew uh, some of the people that worked on that game that designed that game uh, new Tetris n64 uh, new Tetris was absolutely brilliant. You could get lost for hours upon hours in that game. Uh, just get into an amazing zone with the beautiful colors and the shapes, and uh, it's fantastic. So I would I would say start playing if you want to get better at geometry. Start playing games that are shape oriented, and there are other ones. Um, God, I can't remember their names. I know I've played some. I just can't remember uh, the names such as this uh slayer north I, I find that 
uh, difficult to visualize problems such as this in terms of the formation of the triangular prism yeah well it's literally just there where 3d a hybrid shape <laughs> that gets stuck on yeah to a certain degree yeah but that there's there is um, it is valid to challenge people to try to break down crazy shapes into more fundamental shapes that they could piece together right uh, but i think they should make it more interesting than what they do uh usually right give me a ciggy ge geometry geometry wars yeah geometry wars fantastic yellen yellen of troy how are you doing and welcome to our live stream salute salute Arcana nuke first time chat i really like geometry whenever i find a way to turn weird problems into geometry uh, they feel way easier cool very cool and geometry is one of the fundamental aspects of mathematics salute salute yellen and arcana uh, uh arcan arcan nuke um just so you know there's actually a calculus book out there and i've seen it i saw it a few i came across it a few years ago i didn't write down the name i didn't write down the author's name and i can't believe it because i've had a hard time trying to find that book again but i know there's a calculus book out there that teaches calculus specifically by only using geometry like literally i looked at a few pages of it i was like oh that is brilliant right that is brilliant and i didn't make notes of the book i planned on buying it and i don't have it and i can't remember what it is and if you do find what it is anybody gang if you know this this book come to our gilded server and please post the link for us e either in heavy books light books in the math section or in general anywhere just tag me as a chicho and say chicho i found this book and uh, i'll hop on it and buy it and if it's out of print and most likely will be out of print i'll try to track it down on uh, uh online and uh, get a copy and we can take a look at it okay uh, give me a ciggy topology is very interesting topology is in another life i would have explored the realm of topology it's it twists my mind i have a hard time with it i really do uh so i would love to explore it uh slayer dark chicho three blue one brown is pretty good in terms of visualizing calculus concepts geometrically yeah and his work is fantastic by the way gang i've watched some of his videos a long long time ago i haven't seen what he's been doing lately i do follow him on substack uh so on patreon i think he's on substack too no no he not substack he's on patreon i do follow his work on patreon but i haven't checked it checked him out for a very long time he's been really he, he was putting on a lot more videos in the past he's been a little slow going at it i think he explained why but i forget uh, but his work is fantastic really uh kudos to him man kudos to him he's, he's doing an amazing job spreading the love of mathematics and man anybody that does that is uh, is a friend of mine right elder god describe the book again uh, elder god it's a book and i think the author the reason i came across it because i believe the author is armenian right uh if i recall correctly it's a book uh introductory book on calculus and teaches calculus using geometry just geometry none of these crazy calculus formulas and it's got a lot of shapes and stuff like this it just looked good and that's all i remember <laughs> sorry Allah laura Allah laura laura <laughs> that's a tongue twister first time chat cannot believe i've just stumbled upon chicho haha <laughs> i used to watch you years ago on youtube wow i'm so happy still making liqueurs still i'm still making liqueurs i wasn't gonna say this but this is blackberry liqueur with uh, soda and ice in it i put a, one ice in it i just felt like drinking something soda with blackberry liqueur indeed indeed <laughs> and then i'm going to continue reading nice to see you're still teaching the beauty of mathematics indeed indeed i'm going to say laura indeed laura uh and thanks for uh thanks for popping in and the love uh, fantastic <laughs> i'm still going at it i'm still gonna go at it until the end of my days i, I love doing this right i love doing this 
that I'm glad you're, you, did you make any liqueurs? Laura, did you make any liqueurs? Joe Chicho, is all of calculus literally just finding the slope of a curve at a point and finding the area under a curve? Or is there more to it? Is there more to it? <laughs> the it's I'm gonna say uh, I can only talk about what I've know of calculus and what I'm the amount of calculus I studied that's basically how far I was going with it but then you can take triple integrals and stuff like this and do applied mathematics so the area implies a lot right so it's not just finding the area under the curve it's understanding the units that you're uh you're functioning in and how the algebra the mathematics the graphs relate to the real world so for sure you're finding points and areas and curves and it's really the rate of change when you're taking the derivative that's where you begin calculus right introduction of time into mathematics that's the way i like to describe it uh yes so the basics of it is yes that's what we're doing but the interpretation is a lot more that's like saying you know algebra is algebra just adding and you could say yeah algebra is just adding right so for example oh yeah this thing makes the board dirty let's check it out let's use a pink one on the next next go let's see let's take this down i'll leave this bottom part on here we'll leave that on now check this out you could say is is calculus really just adding and subtracting or is multiplication this or is this algebra this? yeah because everything starts off with just adding right adding two things is the beginning of really doing algebra right doing calculations right you take two numbers and add them before this is counting of course right and then the opposite of adding is subtracting so subtracting is really just adding a negative number right that's all it is so subtraction is just really adding so you could come and say is subtraction just really adding i would say yeah subtraction is just really adding but there's more to it right you could say oh multiplication is really adding the same thing again and again right multiplication is adding the same number or the same variable multiple times and that's multiplication so if we add two plus two plus two plus two we can just say you know what let's come up with a new symbol and call it two times four right is dividing just subtracting which is just adding yeah dividing is just subtracting out the same number from another number multiple times right and then you just build it from there remember the language of mathematics is built on five axioms that's all and uh, the axioms are really just the e involve the equal sign and addition and multiplication that's all really right all right kind of new same laura same laura uh, give me a second is it advanced calculus a geometric view by callahan uh, give me a second. I don't think so. The name I, it, it wasn't Callahan. Hello, Lonely Piggy. How are you doing? Uh, Slayer. By the way, I recommend Quick Calculus Second Edition by N Daniel Kleppner, which was published by Wiley. Thank you for the recommendation, Slayer Darth. Uh, Laura, my name is Allah. Allah is Arabic. Allah absolutely sensational haha <laughs> i cannot believe it i never got around to it i experienced them <laughs> vicariously <laughs> through you awesome that's the liqueurs <laughs> we got to do a cleanup of the liqueurs i made some fresh ones this year too so at some point we're going to do a liqueur stream probably next month this month anyway well within the next month uh maybe do it for a christmas celebration or something holiday celebration controller zen how are you doing chicho how do you uf how do ufos fly without our known means of propulsion from what i understand all ufos are based they're supposed to be based on uh anti-gravity propulsion right 
so our whole thing look the this this is the thing gravity is you could use certain words that you could say start use a word that's a starts with a b or whatever it is but gravity is a pain in the rear end of science right gravity is uh, really problematic for us we really haven't figured out what gravity is some people say gravity is a pull some people say gravity is a push some people say there is no such thing as gravity it's all just electro electromagnetics right some people tesla had his own definition of what gravity was some people say we live in an ether which is really why we experience gravity because it's it's a fluid right and like you could go down gravity's hole some people say gravity is the weakest force there is some people say gravity is actually the strongest force there is if you look into uh multi universal universe jumping through membranes it's the gravity that connects the different membranes to the different dimensions you, you, that's strength some of the strength theory stuff that i read like 20 something years ago trying to wrap my head around the stuff right um so from what i understand there in my opinion there's ufos i see objects in the air that i can't identify so there are unidentified flying objects to me right those ufos that most people talk about their propulsion system needs to be must be uh by all accounts based on um, some kind of understanding of gravity that we the general public cannot grasp yet right that's just my take he didn't i suck at math i don't know i i, I haven't I haven't seen anybody uh really truly uh th the only reason they suck at math is because the system has failed and where they haven't put the effort in to learn mathematics uh so everyone has the ability to do do the math 99 percent of the mathematics that you're going to need in your life uh, and that's my take right give me a sicky best channel for math book recommendations was probably the math sorcerer he has some good content on there too he also has a decent amount of advanced courses uh, on uh, udemy cool joe chicho there's an albanian mathematician called mamikon uh manakaskian uh albanian so he's, i wonder if he's got armenian blood he's got an ian who worked on visual calculus might it might it have been him maybe because that's it sounds like an armenian name so it could have been an albanian that i confused with an armenian right my memory plays trick tricks right uh he has a book called new horizons in geometry uh, that might be is that it joe if you please if you're on discord please link it up i'll i'll take a look at it yeah, i'll take a look at it uh not discord gilded if you're on a gilded server link it up don't go to discord i don't i barely go there now i just go there to announce i've uploaded videos and stuff uh okay but yeah gilded uh, and i'll take a look i would love to get my hands on it if that's the book because uh, i would love to teach mathematics using um uh, using shapes only that'd be super cool i have a I have a student that would really appreciate that elder god i keep running to calculus with analytic geometry by robert Ellis. Uh, I, I, no it's not that one either i'm pretty sure it's not that one uh elder god i uh, i've seen robert Ellis. but link it up uh, gang if you find this book link it up in our guild and i'll take a look hopefully it's one of them joe uh chicho oh I mixed up Albanian and Armenia. Oops. Oh, that's not what it is. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he could be an Alba Albanian Armenian. Uh, Ale. Uh, Ala. Is it Ala or Ala? Ale. Ala. 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 No one is bad at math. It just takes practice. I push math on my little brother 10 years my, my youth, and he improves slightly year by year. 
Matt has no, so many transferable skills, namely in problem solving, 100%, 100% critical thought up the yin yang, right? Uh, huge, huge. Yeah, and it's just persistence and consistence and putting effort in, right? Slayer Darth, I don't know if you're aware of A levels here in the UK. They are taken by 16 to 19 year olds and are uh, somewhat similar to AP in the US. Anyway, I have been self studying for A level math off and on for the past few years with an aim to eventually sitting a level math as a private candidate awesome good on you slayer dark it takes a little getting used to though uh, the sort of if they say ap level uh, or a level math or whatever they call it right um, because it's the questions that they give you that become difficult to translate that's one of the issues and there's a lot of gaps in what they teach like i've worked with students that um, a fair bit of students in the past not not in the last few years but in the past i went through a period for a few years where i had a lot of ap students and uh and ap calculus and when i was teaching calculus and stuff like this uh and the, i didn't like the courses right i didn't like the courses because they were very disjointed and there was a lot of holes so the students i was working with they were you know they would study this concept and then in the next class you would do this and they were like they were lost they couldn't figure out how they went from here to here so we'd be filling in the gaps and whatnot um they could be good but you have to those ap type of courses or a level courses you have to be on the ball and you have to stay up to date make sure you're doing all the work right it's, it's a serious commitment okay joe chisho no he is armenian i was right that book was released in 2012 though so it was fairly recent yeah it could have been uh, then because that's what i was looking into it early 2010s from what i understand it was recent i think i read some of the articles that he wrote before that uh, so that might be it I, I gotta take a look at it i hope you linked it up for us on our gilded uh art good luck slayer in my experience past papers or your friends for a level yeah past exams past papers past assignments or your friends for any of these special types of courses really because that gives you a sort of a picture into the mindset of the educators and the in the curriculum which is something you have to know right give me a siggy mathematics rightly viewed possesses not only truth but supreme beauty a beauty cold and uh austere is that the uh who is it uh, the physicist uh oh i forgot his name that sounds like one of his quotes the beauty part anyway uh slayer darth well i'm also on the spectrum so i've had to learn very hard uh very hard over the years to understand the contact context of certain words yeah uh slayer darth here's the thing uh when you, with my students that i've had and i do have on the spectrum all of a sudden you pick up a topic you hit a topic they might have a hard time with and then you move on to another topic and they just absorb like a sponge it's like you can't feed for me anyway i can't feed them the information fast enough right so on the spectrum just says to me it really means you uh you excel in certain topics and it takes a little bit of work for you to grasp certain other topics which is really being a human being because we're not all made to fit inside the box of centralized education right um fun uh challenging but man uh makes you uh smarter than your average bear when you're um when you have to overcome challenges right or can a nuke a levels feels a little better uh, for that d1 was the only module that felt like that for me and it's because uh decision isn't a type of type of math you study before a level okay so it was disjointed to a certain degree Allah, my friend whoop, where to go Allah, my friend unfortunately have to 
uh, my friend I'm for I unfortunately have to depart it's 9 a.m. here in Sydney Australia the day must commence have a great day Chicho you as well Allah thank you for popping in <laughs> thank you for popping in and I'm glad you found us here and I'm glad you found us here I no longer have to that that Elder God 2010 I was looking for it in the 1980s uh, <laughs> yeah it wasn't 1980s Elder God it was either 2000s or 2010s early 2010s like during that period because I really started looking into it um, yeah I think it was late 2000s that I looked into it or must have been early 2010s when uh, I was building some of the math curriculum I was building right and I was looking into how I was gonna teach calculus because I have looked into how I'm going to teach calculus, make a calculus module, right? Mathematics. Uh, we're still quite a ways away from that. Uh, I was planning on to have made it by this time, but made other content uh, instead. So uh, we'll get to it at some point. I kind of knew affairs. I, I, I heard the X that it's a math give me a, it's by a mathematician actually Bertrand Russell Bertrand Russell unfortunate I, can, uh, I really like that aspect of a level pa, pa, pa. first time chat first time chat wombat Phoenix wombat Phoenix quote everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid end quote by Einstein possibly we're apparently not sure yeah there's a lot of st stuff quoted to einstein and other, other uh, people that aren't really true supposedly the one about the you know uh if if insects die humans will die within the, you know that quote that everyone always says that's supposed to be einstein i don't think it's einstein right slayer dart uh see i just feel bad because the uk is such a class of society and to not do as well academically as my better off peers was very upsetting yeah and it's not just the uk there's many countries that are very uh classist or class-based societies india being one of them right uh, the competition is fierce there fierce there wombat phoenix i hope that was relevant i just tuned in yeah for sure for sure coats uh coats that make you think are always always relevant and i like that quote actually I've, I've read it before i've heard it before elder god chicho my android brain just re recalls something on discord from 2018 yeah 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 is it we talked i've talked about it before but i can't i don't think the book was linked or i didn't see it slayer there it was very unfortunate that i had a lisp at school for which i got endless ridicules and abuse yeah if you have anything physical uh that people society groups insecure peers that really have their own insecurities and the way they lash out is make fun of other people's insecurities or other people's whatever it might be right uh differences uh but lisp is one lisp is one for sure lisp is one uh made you stronger slayer darth i'm assuming made you have a from our interaction you got a pretty good uh, perspective on life so uh made you uh, made you a better human being maybe right about math book yeah elder god give me a secret yeah classism is a big problem in society a huge problem in society right bloodlines <laughs> or 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 how much your 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 uh your shirt cost <laughs> crazy right. first time chat i use wi-fi uh is it possible for me to ask a question regarding data management i'll try to answer um i'm not sure if i'll be able to answer it uh, I love data I've worked with a lot of big data I got my SAP certificate managing some data here this is my this is my SAP cup <laughs> right. uh, 
for FI, for finance and work them, uh, if I can. Right. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I missed the name. Durr something. It popped away. Uh, and if I can, maybe someone else in the chat can. Right. Give me a second. One of the greatest reasons that drive people to hate school. Yeah. I use Wi-Fi. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I still have the John Lennon Rose issue. There's that. Yeah. But it caused me all sorts of mental issues. Uh, Slayer Darth. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure, it would, it would. Uh, for me, when I came to Canada, I didn't speak a word of English, and I had to deal with that. Uh, ended up getting into a lot of uh, fights in elementary school, uh, defending my rights. Uh, <laughs> but kids, kids are kids, man. The kids are brilliant in certain aspects, stupid in other aspects, right? Uh, I use Wi-Fi. Here's the question, I think. This is a math course in my school and is probably easy. However, I just started this course. The question is, quote, if three people are dealt one card from a deck of cards, if three people are dealt one card, how many ways could all the cards be spades or face cards? This is combinatorics. In general, I try to stay away from combinatorics because I have a hard time with combinatorics. Just try to understand the questions and stuff. And really, I have a hard time with combinatorics, permutations of combinatorics. Um, but let's deal with it. Uh, Joe, no, I've never entered any math competitions like Olympiads and stuff like this. Again, because I have a hard time trying to interpret their questions. So we have a deck of cards. Here's a deck of cards. Cards. Let's draw cards. Here's a deck of cards. All right. We got three people here. Right. And the question is this. Uh, so we're gonna if three people are dealt one card from a deck of cards, and it's a deck of fifty-two cards, right? Fifty-two cards. Da, 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 da. how many ways could all the cards be spades or face cards so all we got to do is figure out how many face cards there are and how many spades there are right so 13 spades spades right and there's face cards in there so we'll have to subtract those out okay let me stay up with chat as well da, da, da. first time chat Dur dirt Dirt, listen, list, lies, dirt, dirt, list surgeon, dirt, list surgeon, <laughs> salute first time chat. I'm not pronouncing this right. Uh, thanks for popping in. <laughs> oh my god, at school every time someone asks me to say rain rabbit, someone got punched. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> my English is bad, but you are a good person. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the love. See that? How are you doing? Ah, oh, Chicho, math, love, awesome. So let's go back to this question. So we have 13 spades for this, right? Each person is going to get that one card, right? We've got 13 spades. And how many face cards do we have? Now, we're not going to include the 10 as a face card because it's not a face card, right? So we've got four jacks, four queens, four kings, right? Three times four, we've got 12. We've got 12 face cards, 12 face cards, oops, cards. And three of these are spades, right? So we've got to take those out of this. Three spades, three spades, right? So we're going to bring this here and subtract three from 13. So we've got... 10 only spade cards and we got 12 face cards so in how many ways my teacher did um, yeah permutations 12 choose 3 plus and then you subtract the 6 okay 13 choose however I don't understand why they did minus six the minus six would be this right the minus six is this is three uh factorial 
3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, which basically means you're eliminating the possibility of each of them getting a like double uh, well not each of them you're elim you're taking out the three spade face cards right but i wouldn't i don't i wouldn't do it that way maybe i know this kind of my problem probably probably of winning probably of winning yeah this is probably of winning right um how would i do end up doing this your first choice would be p oh, let's see this uh, so the solution uh, the teacher gives is 12p3 plus uh, 13p3 minus 6 right yeah that's what it is and permutations oh man permutations is 12 fact for this one would be hey, let's write this out that permutations has more probability so i correct me on the formula on this okay i'll have to look it up if we're not getting corrected but permutations p is p n choose r here let's write it out nicer i'm going by memory here all of it by the way so if we have p n choose r this is n factorial over r factorial it's not n minus r factorial as well is it id xt that one would be um, commutorix. C n choose r would be n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial. I gotta look this up. N minus r. Okay, so it's n minus r. My bad. Boop. Thank you. So it's n minus r. So n minus r factorial, right? So for this, it would say this, 12 factorial over 12 minus 3 factorial plus 13 factorial over uh, 13 minus 3 factorial minus 6, which would be 12 factorial over 9 factorial plus 13 factorial over 10 factorial minus six, minus six and 12 factorial over 9 factorial is this right you go 12 factorial over 9 factorial 12 factorial is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times uh, 8 etc all the way to 1 9 factorial is 9 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 all the way to 1 so 9 to 8 kills that so 12 over 12 factor over 9 factor is just 12 times 11 times 10 right so this becomes 12 times 11 times 10 minus 13 over 10 if you do the same thing you got 13 12 11 10 and the 10 kills 10 factorial they're gone so this 13 factorial becomes 13 times 12 times 11 and then you got minus 6 whatever that ends up being the way the reason i'm doing this is i want to do it maybe the other way as well so what is that um, 12 times 11 here let's just punch it in let's see if we get this anybody else want to punch this in let's see 12 times 11 is 132 times 10 is 1000 so this becomes 1320 minus 13 times 12 12 times 13 not minus it should be plus 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 my bad equals that so 1560 and then add it to that, subtract that. Boink. Uh, okay, so one, three, a, hey, come on. One, three, two, zero, minus one, five, six, zero, minus six, so it's just gonna be five, four. Five, four. 
you get oh I subtract it jeebus libus zero plus one five five four you get two eight seven four so for this you get an answer of two eight seven four that's how many different ways there are now is there another way to do this dum -ba -da -dum -bum, bum -bum. I wonder if we could do it this way so that would be 22 choices he, he, let's let's try it i'll see if we get the same answer i'm heading up chicho give me a siggy says chicho have a nice rest of your day you as well uh give me a siggy oh what my answer was three thirty thirty was it thirty thirty well i'll try it again let's see let's see what the answer is if we do it the other way the way i would approach it first and i'm not sure if this is legit all right we want to deal out we want to figure out how many different ways oh 13 times 11 times 12 times 11 oh did i punch it in incorrectly let's check it out possibly let's see 13 times 12 times oh i forgot the 11 pooper scooper 11 yes indeed <laughs> this is way bigger this is way bigger boink then that one should be that one's huge oh no it's not wait oh because i we don't need the 10 that was being silly one seven one six right and then minus six and then you take out the six yeah yeah i multiplied by 10 accidentally silly me one three two zero one three two zero thank you for the corrections gang so 30 30 yeah Boink. so this is 30 30 30 30 right 3030 so here's a quick way i would try it and i always do this first and i don't know if it's going to give us the right answer if it doesn't eh, wrong this is the way you do it right i would say there are from a deck of cards there is 10 spades you can choose from and 12 face cards which includes the spade space face cards so there's 22 different cards you can choose so on the first card you can have 22 different cards you can deal them the next one is 21 and the next one is 20. now what happens if we multiply all these together let's check it out let's check it out does that give us 30 30 i hope it does because that's a way easier way to do it 22 times 21 times 20 it doesn't not even close oh mine is way more so we're not accounting for so i'm not accounting for something using this so this gives it to me probably the one thing i'm not accounting for is because uh what do you call it um order doesn't matter in this right well and this order doesn't matter and the other way this gives me nine two nine two what nine two four zero nine two four zero which is obviously wrong right which is wrong so i'm not sure what i'm not accounting for here uh in this mindset right because i'm not very good at combinatorics or permutations uh, it just my I can't wrap my head around it for some reason uh, because the wording confuses me even though I, I understand the problem now or we understand the problem now right uh, there must this must be part of the process how many different ways how many different ways are there let's read the question again now I'm all curious what were we not accounting for if three people are dealt one card from a deck of cards how many ways could all the cards be space or face cards hmm. 
I don't know why this doesn't work. I'm not sure what I would not be accounting for. Is a change in percentage as each card is chosen. Elder God says. could be 52 choose 22 and then twenty two choose three no that wouldn't be it I don't know we can figure out what the minus six is but I'm not sure why this doesn't work and this does permutations combinations permutations order doesn't matter right combinations order matters no no no. combinations order doesn't matter permutation order matters so why would order matter here sorry I use Wi-Fi is it I no, it wasn't I use Wi-Fi that asked this question it was it was it was what was it I forget what it was where they go uh, it was a slayer death wombat phoenix wombat phoenix i think it's a 6.24 percent chance of getting a face card if i'm uh, if i'm correct face card would be no it's got to be more than that 12 divided by 52 the chance of getting a face card right what's 12 divided by 52 12 12 divided by 52 doink 23 percent chance of getting a face card that should be the probability the chance of getting a face card if i'm the chance of getting uh what's point six what's six point six point two four times fifty two times 52 well, how many cars does that give us oh geez I multiplied divided by 100 what yeah that doesn't make sense because that gives you 3.24 cards uh, I calculated for three people oh Yuki how are you doing hope you're doing well <laughs> I know I hate these I not hate hate is a bad word um, these types of problems give me a hard time that's why in the description I say uh, no hardcore calculus and no permutations and combinatorics right I like algebra I like graphing I like functions I love graphing I love big data I like crunching data uh, it's nice to do math again by the way live stream and one of the reasons uh, we haven't done this year, uh, school year anyway, because I've ended up uh, filling up my schedule a little bit uh, with some students. So uh, I needed uh, to sort that out, uh, get my rhythm down, and then uh, start making time for these live streams where we could do mathematics. Fun times, fun times, fun times, fun times. Let's see. Let me keep, oh no, we need that shape we need that shit what else should we do what else should we do in terms of mathematics what did i look at recently which was super cool um I'm trying to remember what i just did recently which was very cool is that 52 times 51 times 50 thing maybe i suddenly need to learn math probably i know i really one thing with mathematics is um is it felix unger no poker champion let me look this up uh, when I looked into this, there was only one person, uh, Felix Unger, poker player. Is that Felix Unger? No, Felix Unger is the odd couple. The <laughs> world poker champion, world poker champion, world poker champion, world poker champion 
champion ships. Uh, World Poker Championships winners. Winners. Let's see. This is the World Poker Championship winners. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Mm. There was one person. Uh, Scotty Negan. Is that him? No. These guys. Okay, it wasn't World Poker Championships. It was something else. There was one poker champion in the world for the longest time where probably love man. <laughs> probably love man. <laughs> there was one poker champion in the world that had only won the championship twice. I don't know if it was, it wasn't World Poker Championship, it was some other poker tournament and he was um, he was a bridge player and he, he was a mathematician and he was so good at bridge because bridge combinations mathematics permutations is uh, Stu Unger is it Stu Unger? Stu Unger maybe Stu Unger Felix Unger that's what I remember Stu Unger is that him? I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna just see if that's that's his picture Stu Unger uh, Stu Unger Come on, give me his picture. Yeah, that's him, Stu Unger. Stuart uh, Errol Unger was an American uh, professional poker, blackjack, and gin rummy player. Um, widely regarded to have been the greatest gin player of all time and one of the best Texas Hold'em players. Yeah, and at the time, I was, I was really into Texas Hold'em, man. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, so this guy I have uh, the, the high regards for. Uh, but he was on the spectrum for sure uh, and uh, he he basically was the only person that won whatever tournament it was twice right and he qualified for the final the third time and he never showed he didn't even show up for it right because there was mental issues there for sure and he didn't care about money so he blew all his money and stuff like this this is a good documentary i watched it with him i really like this guy man uh i think i need to watch that documentary track down his documentary again uh so mathematics can take you a long way <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> slayer dar chicho can you teach us how to construct the unit circle from its principles yeah for sure let's do it yeah 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 unit circle. i love trig uh all got standard deck of cards has 52 cards it has four different uh, suits three spades hearts club uh, spades hearts clubs and diamonds each of these suits have three face cards jack queen king therefore in all there are four times three 12 face cards probably of getting one face card 12 probably uh, of getting two face cards is 11 ba, 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 ba. yeah 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 and pro hence probably of getting three face cards equals 12 that yeah you multiply them together you get um one percent basically i cheated <laughs> of the god says so check this out the unit circle is this like think about this right i've gone into this detail i'm gonna lay this speedy gonzala style look check this out okay here's the thing you have to understand about the unit circle and why we study the unit circle right us human beings we're we're hardwired for problem solving right we want to analyze things we want to break things down we want to understand how things work right we want to do that because we want to optimize our lives and try to understand different systems in our world right initially mainly associated with survival because we want to survive right it's human nature's animal nature to want to survive and the way you survive is you understand your surroundings better right so mathematics is a language we came up with to try to understand the world around us better and one of the systems that we encounter which manifests itself in multiple different areas in our lives is what's called cyclic systems right cycles things that repeat right that's hardwired in life 
on this planet because the earth rotates around this axis the earth rotates around the sun right there are seasons that occur right our daily lives have routines associated with them right so we when we looked at the world in a mathematical perspective from a mathematical perspective and when we try to understand a cyclic system we think to ourselves well we need to model this and what's the best way to model a cyclic system right what's something we can come up with that repeats right and for us the thing that we've come up with the shape that we've come up with that repeats is obviously a circle right so we can draw a circle and say okay a circle repeats like if you start off here right you move in this direction right this is you depending on how fast you're going you end up here again right and then if you do it again you end up there again do it again end up there again wow this is a cyclic system an ideal cyclic system because from what I understand there are no such things as perfect circles in nature right so we drew we draw a perfect circle and we say okay let this circle represent a cyclic function a cyclic system something that repeats itself you get up in the morning you brush your teeth you eat your breakfast you do whatever it is you're going to do for the rest of the day you come home you do whatever it is you do at home for the rest of the day you go to sleep you wake up in the morning you do again to a certain degree 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 right now oh my god let's check it out i remember doing this uh simpler math pro uh, problem set with a situation of being chased by wolves over a mile with an additional wolf appearing every 150 meters real question from a chinese teacher <laughs> so if you're doing this and there's a wolf every 150 meters how often are you going to encounter the wolf right that's a cyclic function right so for us human beings when we try to understand a certain type of system we try to break it down right we take things apart what how, reverse engineer things right that's a legitimate thing you reverse engineer something to be able to recreate that thing right the famous story sometimes when you take things apart you can't recreate them right the goose that laid the golden egg right supposedly there was a goose that was laying golden eggs and the owners of this goose were very happy getting a golden egg a day right or a week they're like oh we got a chunk of gold you know let this duck do his thing and we'll get tons of golden eggs and then some genius came along and said hey let's take that thing apart and make more golden eggs a day and the owner of the duck went hey what a great idea let's dissect this thing and find out how he lays golden eggs they dissected it and didn't know how to make golden eggs and their duck that laid golden eggs was no longer a duck it was a dissected piece of thing on a table right and could no longer lay golden eggs well that wasn't a smart thing to do lucky for us we can take a circle apart we can break it into pieces and try to understand it better and the way we break something into pieces we go okay you know what the most important thing about a circle is its radius right we'll call this r okay and to simplify matters because we human beings like to simplify our problems so we can deal with them better right so to simplify this problem what we do we say you know what let's call r let's give r the length of r a number that we can easily scale right now we're not going to give it a length of 94 because that's who wants to deal with a radius of 94 or 72 right we're going to give r the easiest number that you can scale one right so we're going to say this is a circle with a radius of one this is the beginning stages of a unit circle length of pi given the length of pi the pi appears in this but we're gonna keep keep the radius simple because if you give this the length of pi then you're gonna have more pies appearing in your <laughs> circumference right Shh, don't tell people froggy mano first time chat some some Oh, fun <laughs> so we give the length of the circle a unit of one 
more pie is fun more pie is fun also thank you for the follow froggy <laughs> so we give the radius a one a unit of one so you know what this is going to be our standard circle that we're going to scale and try to understand every other circle and why we try to understand circles because we're trying to understand cyclic functions right elder god honk honk right so what we do is we say you know what a circle with a radius of one we're going to call the unit circle unit circle unit circle right okay i never actually understood how is pi connected to circles and the significance of we'll talk about it baby nice we're going to get to it okay so now that we created a unit circle we want to understand this unit circle better so what we do we break things into pieces so the ideal thing the simplest thing to do to break this thing into pieces is we're going to go through the center of the circle horizontally we're going to go through the center of the circle vertically so all of a sudden we cut our circle into four different quadrants and guess what now we don't have to understand the full circle all we have to understand is what happens in this quadrant and then we can just mirror it and we understand what's happening in the whole circle we just made this problem a quarter easier right my thought that doesn't sound on topic but who knows that that appears that message appears all the time froggy on our channel because it's very important uh, for humanity to free Assange right now we're trying to understand the circle we do that right and since we've broken this up horizontally this way and vertically this way well we have something that we use that's similar to this we call this a Cartesian coordinate system <laughs> our night bot we're gonna call this the x-axis we're gonna call this the y-axis right that's the x-axis and that's the y-axis and if you want to find out where you are on a circle right well you can just talk about the coordinates x and y right and this takes our circle and links it up to a right angle triangle okay which is your distance here is your x and your distance here is your y oops your y right that's your x and that's your y right and what you end up having is a right angle triangle and elder god uh, froggy is elder god says uh june Sans is central to our philosophy here which is free speech for all and sharing of information right fundamental fundamental aside from transparency and accountability of capitalist power and if you remember so what we've done right now is connected up a triangle to unit circle right and if you remember your pythagorean theorem there's a formula for a triangle right there's a formula for a triangle uh for a right angle triangle which is called the pythagorean theorem which is a squared plus b squared let's make this a small b usually appears as a small b right b squared is equal to c squared and for this right angle triangle you would have x squared plus y squared is equal to one squared and one squared is just one so right now we've got x squared plus y squared equals a one right froggy i'm a fan but yeah no a lot of your friends in college went the other way yeah all right so x squared plus y squared equals one that's one of the formulas we can get from this right so if we have a radius of one here and if anywhere we're on the circle we can derive the coordinates of this thing right you saw the nsa recruiters and math department yeah listen to william beanie uh william benny beanie benny the guy who came out with the nsa system he quit them right he quit them and he became a whistleblower against them right uh, 
William Vinia. I might be pronouncing his last name incorrectly, right? So this is the fundamental principle of a unit circle, right? Now, one thing that happens is for a right angle triangle, we have theta here. And theta is in standard position is usually, well, it is the angle that we're moving around the circle relative to the positive x axis, right? So I could also tell you to go to this point by telling you the angle that you're going to go on the circle, right? Froggy. Did you see the British guy online asking a viewer if they even knew the Pythagorean? <laughs> no, I didn't see. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my God, my company recently introduced a math quiz for all possible new recruits. Oh, the things I have seen. Oh man, I can't even imagine. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. Right? So what we can do is talk about an angle, right? In degrees, usually. But another thing we can talk about is eliminating... Again, mathematicians are, <laughs> what's to say, Pierce Morgan. And then his co-host called her out and he said the question was 3.147 or something. Ah, uh, crazy. And Pierce Morgan, well, isn't he the guy that doesn't believe in bodily autonomy? Uh, he can kiss my rear end. <laughs> right? So what you can do, mathematicians come along and this is where pi is related and say you know what forget about degrees right forget about degrees <laughs> no for no for any i have embarrassing math literacy so they're really cool a much needed refresher awesome awesome now take a look mathematicians in general i tell all my students mathematicians are lazy creatures right because they like to simplify things as much as possible okay simplify it to a level where they can actually easily solve a problem and then extrapolate all the everything else that they need to extrapolate so mathematicians end up looking at this and say you know what we got too many variables here for the circle we you know we got an r right to find out where you are on here and the theta in degrees right you know what forget about degrees mathematician came along and said you know what we're going to take the variable r and theta i'm going to merge them together and we're just going to really eliminate the theta in degrees we're going to start coming out with a new unit called theta in radians and theta in radians is this if you have a circle right and you're going to travel one oops that should be a one yeah let's erase it with the finger one if you're going to travel one radian rad is that too small that's too small let's make it bigger if you're going to travel one rad whoop, here's this if you're going to travel one rad radian around the circle that means that should be whoop, more if this is the radius right if this is r one rad the angle traveling around the circle is the same distance as you travel r around the arc length of the circle right so if your radius here was 10 and if you travel 10 meters on the circumference of a circle we're going to call that one radian one radian the angle that you've traveled around the circle right so they just eliminated degrees they just eliminated degrees from the unit circle right it's still there you can use degrees but they simplified the matter and called it radians and this is where pi comes into place no matter the size of a circle doesn't make a difference what size a circle is right if you travel half the circle the radius along the circumference of a circle right if you travel along the circle halfway around the circle then you've traveled pi radians 
you've traveled 3.1415. Three point well, I'm just gonna break down pi. Pi times r, whatever the radius is here. Radius. Right? So if I give you a circle, let's say the radius is ten, then how far what's the distance halfway around the circle? It's ten times pi. Ten pi. Right? If the radius is twenty, then what's half the circle? Twenty times pi no matter what size circle and that's where pi comes into play right? it's uh, it's very cool this goes a lot deeper as well uh, I just tried to sort of define what a unit circle is and give you a little bit more on it but we've done a lot of videos on this I have a uh, if you do Chicho trigonometry playlist I have a full playlist on here let me find it for you full playlist on trigonometry it's, it's basically the first ASMR math videos I started putting together because uh, it's so important, so important, so crucial. Uh, let's see if it's going to pop up. Trig. There we go. Take a look at this. I'm proud of this playlist. These videos here, you want to understand trigonometry. These videos will do the trick for you. Really, if you're patient enough to sit through them, these videos will do the trick for you. Okay, and I'll have the link in the description of the video uh, once it's been uploaded uh, to uh, to the other to our platforms. Okay, I'm just gonna get caught up with the chat here. Embarrassing point. I saw that clip. You saw it, Froggy. Yeah. Even recently, he wasn't given the correcting from yeah he, yeah he, he's he's garbage Pierce Morgan tyrants hiding behind mathematics yeah <laughs> lonely piggy before I started watching Chicho math and simplifying things could have never made sense together for me hilarious <laughs> lonely piggy funny <laughs> every time you say circle I get Mr. Mia Mia guy vibes awesome uh, what do you call it? On, off? Put on, put off? <laughs> What's it called? I gotta watch Karate Kid again, man. This is one of the best feel good movies there is. Base Pie. Is this room uh, appropriate for children? Uh, it, it, it depends on the mental capacity, the mental capacity of anyone, right? I, I t I've talked with 14 year olds, 12 year olds that are way smarter than some 30 year olds i've interacted with right so i it's not about age it's about intellect uh the way i see it uh but six year olds no uh, but in the past I've, we've had uh, uh people that come to our live stream and they say hey my i'm watching your video uh live stream is it a comic book reading or whatever it is or math with my six-year-old child kid or eight-year-old kid and I we really tone it down to that level right the information is still there but I refrain from using certain words right so if you're gonna watch it with your child our live streams if they're non political politics we can't help it we gotta go hard uh, but if it's math comic book readings cooking streams or anything like this uh, if you let us know ahead of time uh, you're watching it with uh, uh, you know your child or or an under underage person and stuff like this uh, we'll definitely keep it clean we'll definitely keep it clean first time chat cav kazip free nelson mendel <laughs> <Free Nelson Mandela. laughs> i think i freed a while ago joe chicho why uh did you stop uploading to your 420 uh 420 math and math and relax uh just because i i it was uh at that time i lost uh, uh someone hacked into our website the drupal site that we had for chicho and i couldn't access it so i lost my website uh my main chicho website that's why we're on blogspot so i transferred everything over to blogspot so i got really overwhelmed with doing a lot of things uh, trying to make sure i stay up to date with everything and i started creating a lot of other content and uh, uh, I just couldn't keep up with uploading everything to math in real life and 420 math 
channels and websites right um, and the 420 math basically uh, prohibition was ending so I knew uh, from that end uh, that job um, and I'm against all prohibition so I'll maybe kick that up again uh, but I saw that the momentum kicking up on that uh, front so I didn't feel uh, as much uh, and as a need to get the information across uh, but at some point we're gonna totally pivot into full-blown mathematics when I start doing some of the writings which I have I just have to start putting it together uh, just a matter of time and energy and resources really thank you very much for the cheers Thomas live salute salute slayer dart sort of in and out clearing up my computer awesome Soramon the white teaching math haha <laughs> Hong Kong, thank you very much for the follow, uh, Thomas. Appreciate it. Fragment, make your junior high kids watch this guy. Uh huh. Gopli, math books are full of problems. Ha ha, chuckle, chuckle. Uh, Fragment, the joke was uh, derivative. Gopli, of course, mate. Awesome, Thomas. Awesome. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or multiple resources online. And Thomas, thank you very much for a Twitch Prime sub. Hong Kong, salut. And welcome to our live streams. Gang, I think we're coming to the end. We're coming to the end. Nice chill mass session. Fantastic. Fantastic. We do a lot more this year. We do a lot more this year. We'll be watching frequently, maybe. Awesome. I hope you like all different types of contents. We go all over the place, uh, Thomas. So if you see some stuff that you're not interested in, don't watch, especially the politics. If you want to avoid politics, don't watch our current events live streams. Okay, gang? Uh, this is a sort of suggestion I made to people a long time ago. Uh, stay with us for the math, for the comic books, for the cooking streams uh, and stuff. Okay, Alagon, I'm ready for a yearly auction. Let's advertise ahead of time. Yeah, indeed. And gang, not next weekend but most likely the following weekend which will be let's check it out which will most likely be uh, well the end of november we're going to do it so most likely the weekend of november 26 uh, and 27th we're going to do our yearly twitch points auction because when you're watching if you subscribe if you do stuff when you're watching twitch uh what happens is you accumulate points and you can use those points for something now instead of just using them randomly to do online stuff uh, we decided three years ago is a third auction we're doing now uh, to auction off some stuff um, that I put up for auction right so uh, it could be jams that we've made it could be honey that I've, uh, uh, I've jarred it could be uh, we've auctioned off a lot of these things uh, drug war trading cards from 19 early late 1980s early 1990s from eclipse comics uh we auctioned off a lot of major history here tons of history here right most likely in two weekends we're gonna do it okay uh get on our uh you can follow the work on our patreon subs uh sub stack or subscribe star right if you follow the work there you don't have to subscribe don't put anything on hey well you'll get notification when uh, i set up the live stream for that okay uh, so heads up probably within two weeks we're gonna do the auction maybe three okay maybe three Kav Kazep I found you from the alcohol infusion videos on YouTube and I've been watching a bunch of your all other stuff awesome awesome <laughs> salute this is this is a little bit of soda at the end with a little bit of blackberry liqueur super yummy super yummy 
refreshing Rendell says happy birthday to Cheryl awesome great chill session perfect to keep me moving through report report prep ah, yeah yeah slayer there uh, to be honest I'm only straying away from the current of uh, affairs streams for now because I'm studying uh, to take math and physics at a, at a level as a private candidate awesome yeah I don't I don't recommend our current events live streams to people yeah uh, unless you really want to talk about what's going on in the world okay elder god 27th november is great okay maybe we do on the 27th that's on a sunday i believe i think so i think that should work let's hit, let's hit it up on uh, on our gilded server and bring up the question and see if everybody's cool with that right slayer darth so i think i would be best served by focusing on those right now indeed focus on anything else on the current events unless unless the thing interests you and you know what's going on or you want to know what's going on panic new one how do you maintain any sort of positivity or not fall into depression knowing while constantly reading and knowing how f up everything is uh, because there's a lot of positives going on in the world panic for example I couldn't do this 10 years ago live stream math tutoring sessions to people to try to help people learn mathematics could not be done we can do it now we've been doing it for three years four years right there's a lot of positives happening in the world information being shared those who control uh, a lot of capital resources they don't want to share uh, and they're putting up blockers for people but we're sharing uh, so that's huge positive bink us gamer thank you very much for the follow salute salute Hong Kong and welcome to our live streams see that I can't wait for the auction one of these years I'll win a jar of Chicho Jam awesome I'll have some jars this year as well Cav made my own pomegranate blueberry liqueur awesome delicious eh super delicious I <laughs> have trump cards <laughs> the cards you have the trump card I have I have some too nice same day as Canada football game it's the same day as Canada football. okay we got to make sure uh, we don't overlap the time maybe we do uh, live uh, live updates you remember the Iraq war criminal card list yeah yeah we gotta read those as well and we gotta finish off the JFK cards I gotta get back into the card readings indeed Cheryl current events is even more gore card gore than making a card for vacation tough what hardcore oh hard not guard i'm like hardcore then uh, packing a car for vacation <laughs> tough stuff cheryl says bit later in day chicho for uh, for cheryl maybe evening chicho time maybe maybe you, we decide on gilded gang we'll decide on gilded plenty of innovation and betterment of mankind indeed first time chat bink us gamer hey i am 12 years old and i'm trying to figure out how to use pi could you explain oh we just use pi pi is pi is what is it i just know what i think to four numbers it's just 3.1415 and repeating so just think of pi as a number that's it pi is this right it's like is if you say you don't know how to use pi it's like saying you don't know how to use the number two or the number three or the number ten you do exactly what you do with this as you would do with any other number so if i go uh five pi a number in front of pi means multiply so this means five times pi what's pi pi is 3.1415 three we just say 3.14 you just multiply them together that's it all right that's it pixel camp hello hello welcome welcome first time chat frogman i do i'm hiding them so my wife doesn't throw away oh yeah don't let you just tell her it's an investment <laughs> joe chicho the other day i was reading uh, a study where they asked children in the u.s and china what their aspiration was for their future 
the most common aspiration in China was to become an astronaut, while among the U.S. children was to be a social media influencer. <laughs> if you played those two societies out over the upcoming decades, what is the result of that? I don't want to do the math for that, man. <laughs> That's depressing math. <laughs> Thomas, next mass stream, can you do circle uh, thrums? I got my... Uh, circles yeah for sure we could do trig for sure we could do trig uh, but I don't know what thrums are <laughs> thrums <laughs> oh my god no worries it's 8 a.m. your time for the Croatia versus Canada game okay awesome that's good that's good pixel draw us the meaning of life mathematics is the meaning of life that's it if you know math you, you know the meaning of life Gord guard Core, hardcore, even more hardcore. Padre, padre goes guardcore, even more hardcore than hardcore. <laughs> Hilarious. Look it up real fast on the pie. Hilarious. You know Pfizer pie. Hilarious. Boss man, can you do circle thrums? I got my. I don't know what thrums are. What are thrums, brother? Thomas, go to our guild server. Tell us what thrums are if it's just circles talking about circles yeah we can do trig but i don't know what thrums are <laughs> what would the application be of base pi math never seen it there i don't know actually i don't know maybe uh it's got to be related to waves somehow it's got to be related to waves panic man i've always sucked at circles i was fairly good at math but circles kicked my ass every time. Oh man, w watch this. Okay, I think that's my playlist. Panic. That's my playlist for trigonometry right here. Okay, right here. It's grade twelve trigonometry. I teach in in this playlist at the first eight videos or something. Anyway, uh, they're the best videos you'll find online to learn trigonometry, and you'll have an appreciation for circles okay oh thomas circle theorem circle theorem which was this <laughs> there's so many theorems involving a circle oh i'll have to look into it i'll have to i'll have to look into it no i'm not of croatia froggy i'm in canada guard core does sound interesting <laughs> guard core dude he's guard core <laughs> pfizer pie dude he's guard core <laughs> gs yeah C E ones. Uh would that be like stuff like this? Um here let me erase some of this. So it'd be uh, stuff related to like stuff like this. The relationship that this has with you know oops yeah yeah this right so the angle here versus the angle here a and b so the angle at b is twice angle a so b is actually 2a stuff like this i'm assuming right and there's a lot of things like this ivanka thank you very much for the follow right and we can do that i just have to bring out some of the rules and stuff and you can do you know if you have this and if you have a tangent line going like this uh how's this work here there there and if it goes like this then that's 90 degrees if that's at a tangent line and whatnot yeah yeah that's it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this stuff is super fun <laughs> for sure you know what uh thomas go to our guild server uh server and we have a mass section and i think we have a request section there or if there isn't i'll create a folder there go to general and say hey can you do this in the next math live stream and we'll do it uh, but provide me a link as to uh, if you have any resources if not i'll just have to look it up and find out uh, some of the rules and we need questions problems to do right it's super fun stuff i thought stay good guys please indeed indeed gilded bink us gamer i know pi i used for uh circumference as an area i don't know how though yeah yeah that's all it is it's all related to radians we just talked about it actually we just talked about it it's basically the length if you have if you go the distance of a half a circle 
right? Half a circle. You go to distance of a half a circle, right? And if you want to find out how long, how far you've traveled, right? Well, if this is your radius, then the relationship for any size circle doesn't matter. Any size, little, 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 big, 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 big. The distance halfway around the circle is your radius times pi. That's where pi comes in, right? It's related to radians. That means the angle here in radians is pi, and you travel uh, pi radians around the circle, right? Halfway around the circle. Super cool. How far does your math knowledge go? High school, university, masters? Not masters. Uh, I have a bachelor's in mathematics. Uh, panic. A ma major in physics, geophysics, and bachelor in mathematics. But I forgot a lot of the math I did in university. I can do basic uh, introductory calculus, and then uh, what do you call it? And uh, introductory of probability and statistics. Uh, yeah, I used to teach more hardcore, but the, the demand wasn't there as much, so I didn't get enough practice in. Uh, Froggy, have you noticed uh, anecdotal evidence of diminished math capacity in human right now, right after they recover from? Uh, no, I've I've noticed the diminish, the diminished uh, math capacity of human beings because of centralized education. They, in my area, anyway, they've got it the math curriculum. They teach about thirty percent less less mathematics in high school right now than they did ten years ago, and that's by design can't have too many people having critical thought in society now can we right joe chicho i think i've asked you this before but do you like computer programming i when i took it it was pascal and fortran and man those are horrendous languages uh i seem to remember you saying you didn't like it if that's the case is there something specific you don't you don't like something that always surprised me when i was at university was that most math students who I spoke to found programming really hard, which is something I could never understand. What uh, people have to study in their final year in a math degree is way harder than anything in programming, in my opinion. Uh, Joe, it was it was the monotonous nature of the programming when I was taking it, right? Running, running the program, trying to deal with all the errors and stuff like this. That's what I didn't like about it uh and the language at the time like i never got into c or c plus uh, plus i took pascal one course and fortran another course uh, and i think we had a little bit of basic and stuff like that it was just so monotonous and i didn't want to sit behind a computer just trying to debug debug something right that was the only reason really uh, so how do i find circumference of a circle what is the formula the formula is 2 pi r if half a circle is the radius times pi, then a full circle is 2 pi r. Boop. Twice that, right? Twice that. Best mathematics. Math in real life is the best mathematics, in my opinion. All the God says, me too. I agree. I agree. We do Sigmore math for my kiddos. I don't know Sigmore math. Chicho Joe, Slayer that says. I found that programming helped me understand certain mathematical concepts and concepts better. Yeah. Froggy, I did C in college. Boring. Boring. Gang, let's call the stream. Thank you very much for being here. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Twitch, on Substack, on other platforms, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. And I thank you very much for that support. I hope you're enjoying the content. And mods, 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 gang, salute to the mods. Salute to the mods on Twitch and on Gilded. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do all this work. Uh, so I thank them. And again, happy birthday, Cheryl. Happy birthday, Cheryl. Gang. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live on Getter Minds, VK Gap, Parlor, and BitCloud. We'll see what other platforms we go on, but they've got to be free speech platforms, gang. They've got to be free speech platforms. 
for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload the live streams to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platforms including spotify itunes and google play joe chicho i think a great way to test if you understand something in math is to try and implement it in code. i agree i agree joe for sure and man i wish i wish i highly recommend it if you if you can take a programming course in school learn how to program i wish i knew how to program uh, but i don't i don't the elder guy says chicho send us somewhere where should we send you what room are you sending us to i don't know you guys tell me where where we should go we'll we'll send people to a room and gang uh we will be uploading this full live stream to sensor tube to bit shoot to rumble and to odyssey and of course if you want to join our little community we've got a little community on gilded where people are sharing a lot of information uh, so you're definitely welcome to join us there it's there that i know how to program i have pretty solid math knowledge random how do we do random <laughs> how do, do random i don't know how to do that i just wish i had attained higher grades back in school happy birthday cheryl padre says yeah our own dancing in a tub sent us here here just <laughs> hilarious how do we do uh raid what is it raid random do we do raid random shout out the channel what to provide username command send i don't know how to do random raid let's check it out chicho joe i think the best way to learn programming is to learn it uh doing something you like if you like video games then take a course which teaches you by creating games yeah it would be it would be pascal made me insane, <laughs> pascal made me insane. raid someone with 0-1 views and let's all go create but i how do i find them uh we could go to yang he's a he's a what he's a he's in vancouver too okay we're gonna rate this guy grow forest let's go random name i mean <laughs> random name. we're doing this guy ready i hope this works okay gang if it works i'll see you guys over there just for a quickie <laughs> okay otherwise we're out let's go let's see if this works raid has been created we're going ready to raid raid now raid now 31 years ready to raid raid now we're going <laughs> no comedy style oh my god hilarious <laughs> raid <laughs> 